Do you reckon they've... I don't know, I've heard all sorts of crazy stuff, and I haven't really looked into it, but, you know, there's people who are saying that there's, uh, a, like, a secret space program going on, and they've been going back to the moon and forth, and they've got, like, bases up there. Have you heard anything like that? Oh, I've heard, I've heard a lot of... Um of, of crazy things from stuff. In fact, actually, one of the things that I've actually been rather depressed to see when I've been posting videos is uh, people who think, who think that the earth is flat or people who, who have just have just lost all trust in NASA completely that they don't just doubt the moon missions, they doubt all space travel. Like when I, one time when I was um, producing, I produced many videos about SpaceX, about how, we, how I believe we can solve a radiation hazard to, you know, basically use their technology to get us past the radiation belt onto the moon, onto Mars for real. When I started producing videos about that, people who who doubt space travel in general, they all came crashing at me like a ton of bricks, basically saying, "Oh, he's a he's a he's a NASA stooge. He's this. He's that. He believes that he's uh, he's a disinformation agent. Yada yada yada." Basically, no, for, these for fuck's sake. I you know. I mean, I I mean, I, how how people if anyone who who thinks I must be a NASA stooge? They must have, they must be have rocks in the head or something. Because oh, that's, that's, I'm, a... I'm, the, I'm the biggest sharpshooter on NASA's moon landing hoax claim. But if the, if NASA has done something for real, I'll acknowledge it. You know, a, a, an honest person is give credit where credit is due. Neil yeah. Armstrong, he didn't walk on the moon, but I will give him credit for being the first man to dock a spacecraft. He was, he nearly came close to death when he docked his Gemini spacecraft with the Agena rocket. And the thruster on their spacecraft was jammed and went them spinning out of control. That was the first docking in space. That paved the way for 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 um, the ISS, for the Mir station, all these missions that required docking, you know, in, in orbit. You know, that that was a real space that was a real space mission there, the Gemini eight. Okay? Apollo eleven, not so much. So I can't give him credit for being the first man on the moon because he wasn't. Credit for the first man to dock in space, I'll give him kudos for that. Okay? Uh, do you reckon there is the a first man on the moon? wasn't the first man on no one was the first man on the moon because there's never been a moon landing a manned moon landing the whole but the problem is is that because nasa has become so untrustworthy with um with with the moon landing is that people have started to doubt everything that's in space i posted a video basically showing the pictures of of pluto by the new horizons mission and people started coming in saying that that those missions were that those photos were faked well, I don't. I don't have any any reason to suggest that the that the New Horizons mission, mission was faked, and you know, I, I, one of the things that I said to them was that I don't trust NASA. What I trust is my interpretation of the data. You know, if if the data passes scrutiny, the rational thing is to accept it. If it doesn't, you reject it. If it, if it doesn't, if if the if if the data doesn't doesn't purport doesn't support what what the person is claiming, right? Then the logical step is to is to dismiss what that person is claiming, dismiss it as, as false. Okay, if it, if it passes scrutiny, then it's then it then it then it, the idea is to accept it. Like for example, how do we know that there is a international space station orbiting our heads? Well, one thing first of all, we can actually see it. If you're lucky, you can actually see the ISS moving across the across the sky as a little star moving across the sky. Okay, and if you have a few hundred bucks of a telescope equipment, you can actually resolve the ISS as it passes by. And furthermore, right, I've seen videos of the astronauts, you know, floating aboard the ISS for far longer, far longer than would be possible within the um, the uh, the zero the KC one thirty five. Others have pointed to the um, that's the basically that's the the plane. It, it goes through these parabolic arcs and eliminates gravity in there thirty seconds, right? If you uh, if you were to time the videos of the International Space Station, you find they're much floating around for much longer, and also. Um, some people say, oh, well, well, how did you know they didn't do it like they did in the, that movie Gravity with Sandra Bullock and George Clooney? Well, the zero gravity scenes were actually, believe it or not, the zero gravity scenes inside the space mission, inside the space station, were actually filmed by filming Sandra Bullock swimming around underwater in front of a green screen, because apparently she was very a able to hold her breath for quite a long time. And okay, so they were able to film her underwater for about like three or five minutes or so, give, it a, give or take. And so that's how we were able to get those long uh, videos of them, of her floating around in the International Space Station. That's right? really but awesome. the International Space Station, they're, in, they're floating around for much longer than that, and they obviously don't have a breathing apparatus. Right? So, therefore, so therefore, the International Space Station is for real. Okay? Why would anyone want to doubt that? But for whatever reason, we've got people who think that the Earth is flat or that all space travel is faked, and they just went into the, in, in, go into the comments posting their, their crap about this, and... 
it, even on Facebook, I had this one guy who was constantly sending me uh, videos and links to for, for people who think the Earth is flat or think that the all space travel is fake. I tried to explain as best I could, basically explain to him why what he's proposing is uh, is is wrong. You know, like he one got one of the things this one guy said was, "Oh, we can observe gravity by dropping something. Right, we can observe that, but how do we can we observe how can we uh, observe that without um how can, how can we how can we prove that the Earth is round without NASA? They equate it with things that are absolutely given. Uh, water is wet, fire burns. That's gravity, right? <laughs> And it's like, okay, but they're equating this shape, which is really just an image, with those other things, you know, givens. You know, you can test, that's, that's the thing. You can test water, you can test fire, you can test gravity all day long. We all know those things to be true. But this, this is one of those things where, it, you know, it's like, how do you know for sure? And then the second question comes in, which is, well, or the second response from them, which is, well, you know, they've got the picture. NASA told us. And, you know, then the riddle comes out. And I'm, again, I'm not going to take credit for it. And it's like, okay, how do you know this is what we, you know, where you live without using the word NASA? Well, for starters, we know, we know that the Earth is round because the gravity pulls things, doesn't pull things down. It pulls them towards the center of mass. And, you know, if, if the mass is large enough, it'll be rounded by its own gravity. That's basic science there. You know, that's 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 physics 101 okay high school physics even you should be anyone in who's done high school physics should be able to understand that and yet we've got people who believe the earth is flat who doesn't understand gravity and i try to explain to him that the why why i why we can believe the um the international space station videos he just ignored it would point to another video and finally i just i got annoyed and i had enough and i said to him listen it's over i've had enough okay there is overwhelming evidence that the earth is round there is overwhelming evidence that man has been in space and yet like some diehard creationist you blissfully dismiss it you've wasted more than enough of my time don't bother talking to me again until you grow a brain and develop some rational thought one of the things that one of the things that people would claim about all space travel being faked is they would claim oh well rockets don't work in space huh there are two people. There are two types of people who seem to think that. One is the type of people who don't seem to understand the difference between jet engines and rocket engines. A jet engine works by sucking all the atmospheric air into the combustion chamber, where it's ignited with the fuel. Basically, it launches all the all the gas out the back and basically propels it. A rocket doesn't need the air, the atmospheric air, because it brings its own oxidized reward in separate tanks. You know, you've got a, a fuel tank and an oxidized an oxygen tank. Okay, they get stored in separate tanks. They're pumped into the combustion chamber, and it ignites. And it doesn't need to um, need to need to need air from the atmosphere to work. And the others who don't seem to think that the you heard a whistle there. That was a um a Gmail message coming in. I but thought it was a chick they, having um, you on. <laughs> maybe, but anyways, um the uh, the uh, as for as for as for the other group of people, they don't seem to understand the um, action reaction thing. An example that people will like to use is um is a balloon. Okay, the balloon inflates. It inflates. It, what happens when it inflates? It actually got higher air pressure than it has on the outside, and that's why it inflates. If you let go of the balloon, all that high pressure shoots out the back. One guy said, "Oh well, that's not going to work in space because there's nothing for it to push against." I said, "Yes, there is. It's pushing against the actual balloon itself. In fact, so so for the same principle, right? A rocket works by firing all this high pressure gas, which is much higher than atmospheric pressure. As a result, it's pushing against the rocket and it wants to push somewhere." In fact, rockets would work better in, in a vacuum than it would in, in space because, think about it, the external pressure outside the rocket is zero. It's zero PSI. Inside the rocket's like a few few thousands of PSI, all right, a few hundreds of thousands of PSI. And so, obviously, the pressure, when it gets released into the vacuum, the vacuum is, is, is basically no pressure. So, obviously, it's going to be pushing up against the, the rocket, pushing in the opposite direction. So, it's going to work better in a vacuum than it would in, 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 in an atmosphere. So, so who the fuck are these guys think they're getting? They, 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 these people, they just, they don't understand the science, and yet they, they just go blabbing off their big mouth saying the Earth is flat, or that the, or that rockets don't work in space, and that all space travel therefore is fake, yada yada yada. It's just nonsense. Yeah. I give my attention. I give my. I just don't, don't bother with them because I give my attention to serious researchers, not deniers, and not people who only want the attention. 